What does it mean to have this kind of event here in Fort Wayne in your hometown and see the kind of support you have for basketball and for just supporting the youth here in nor uh, Northeast Indiana? Oh, it's big time. At the end of the day, I'm just a kid from Wiser Park Elementary School, Southside High School, that um, I'm doing something in the community and the people are supporting it. And that means the world to me to have the guys, Robbie Hummel, Chris Kramer, Lou Jack, um, Mitch Daniels, guys of that caliber come to this event, but also the community of Fort Wayne get behind what we're doing and see the value of what we're doing and the mission that we have. It's been um, an unbelievable ride to this point. Um, I think I saw, I think I read that you were able to send 300 kids to camp based off this event last year. Is that kind of the goal again this year? Or what are your, your expectations? What are you going to do with all the funds that are raised at an event? Yeah, definitely send as many kids to camp and league and different sports academies and get as many kids involved with OPS as we can. But then also we want to do a couple college trips this, this, this fall and this winter to get a few kids and take them up to say Indiana University or Purdue and take them up for a Friday and get to see a college workout, get to see what a college campus looks like on a Friday night and get an Airbnb or something. Mm -hmm. That next morning, you know, colleges always have an open gym with the basketball team and then also attend a football game that's, that same day. So get to do things like that, get to take them around and take them outside of just basketball, get to have speakers come in and get to take them to do different things, maybe be able to go farm a day and learn different things outside of basketball, go up to Chicago, see the Big Ten studio, see what that looks like behind the scenes. You may get your next cameraman or your next um, photographer out of the situation. So just trying to do as many things with basketball, but also, but also outside of basketball. You mentioned the Big Ten Network. What was it like first season as an analyst in studio? What was it like when the lights came on and it was just a, a different role for you? Oh, uh, when the lights came on at first, I was nervous. I was sweating a little bit, didn't know which camera to look into, but uh, once I got my rhythm, it got a lot of fun. At the end of the day, it's just talking basketball, and it's a dream come true. And I tell a lot of kids that, if I mean, you see me doing it, you can do it. I mean, a lot of kids don't necessarily grow up thinking about what they want to do outside of just being a basketball player. And it's something that we teach the kids is bigger than basketball. You can be a player, but you can also be an analyst, and you can talk about basketball for 20, 30 years, or you could be a coach or a film or a film coordinator. You could be a lot of different things within the game. And me being an analyst and me being on TV, the kids got to see it. And it wasn't just lip service. They didn't just hear me saying it at a camp. They got to physically see me on the TV, and they thought that was cool. A lot of the kids, <laughs> they think they know more than me already. So they, they definitely know if I can do this, they can do it, and they got somebody that can help them get there. Uh, you know, between you and uh, Chris Kramer over there, there's three Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year awards right there. What is it about um, Northeast Indiana? You know, you take a look at Caleb, guy that works hard, yourself. I mean, K uh, Biggie Swanigan as well. What is it about the guys that this area produces that makes them a good fit for Purdue? Because we, we produce some grinders, some guys that know how to play basketball the right way. I don't think it's um, the little brother effect sometimes to Indianapolis. It's like um, sometimes Purdue has a little brother effect to IU at that point. It is a point in time where it's that way. So you kind of, um, you're not as given as much hype as the guys from out of Indianapolis. It's not the biggest city in the state. You don't have the support that maybe in the media that other guys from different cities will have. So you have the type of mentality, but just the city. It's always been a work hard, take care of your family, raise your family the right way, do the right thing type of city. And you do the right things, you're rewarded for it. And I think guys that come out of here, you get to Purdue, you get to campus, and you see those guys from Indianapolis, those guys from Chicago or big cities, and they got a lot of flash. And sometimes you just outwork those guys. I think um, – Paint has a little bit, a little bit of that too. So, um, a lot of people don't know that Coach Paint was born in Fort Wayne, so I think it's in the water or something like that. Uh, final question for me: You guys are naming an award for Caleb Swanigan um, at your camps to honor uh, hard work. Um, what was the reaction from from you when you heard that Caleb had passed away? And now that you've had a, a little time to think about it, what are your thoughts on, on that? Because it's a, obviously certainly an unfortunate situation, but now you are honoring him in a in a different way. Yeah, it's definitely an unfortunate situation. Uh, Still quite having wrapped your mind around something like that. Uh, someone passed at such a young age, had so much life, that uh, did so much in such a short span of time that so many people loved. It's wild to think about. I was speaking with um, Caleb's girlfriend, his son's mother, and we got together, kind of formed this award, and she was really behind it. She had a lot of say-so on what we wanted to do for Caleb, knowing that what she knew what he wanted to stand for, she knew the type of impact she wanted that message to rely on their son so they should be attending tonight and being able to be a part of that but also just having kids that maybe have that similar background or just need an extra push that you never know what they could turn out and be but it's definitely a sad situation but it's something that we can honor him with and we can still work with the family and keep his son involved with what we're doing and kind of with the Purdue family and make sure that 
she knows, that their family knows that Purdue is always behind them. Uh, anything else you'd like to add that I didn't touch on? No, I just, if you like to donate, you can go to um, RayfieldDavisBasketball.com, um, Crew Life Nonprofit. It's a nonprofit organization, a tax, tax deductible organization where if you want to donate or sponsor an event, reach out and uh, anything that we can do to help kids or push forward basketball, push forward youth activity is something we want to be a part of.